Hello, hello. Welcome back to another adventure. So it is Friday afternoon and we are headed west. We are going into the mountains right now. Just drove through Bailey going towards Fairplay and actually going to camp at the trailhead of Mount Sherman's night. Going to do a little car camping back here in the good old compass. So I'm pretty excited. I've been wanting to, you know, test out sleeping in here since I got it just to see, you know, what the experience would be like. This 14er that we're doing, Mount Sherman, is about two and a half hours away. So that's, you know, part of my, you know, reasoning to get here this evening. Tomorrow morning, we're going to try to hit the trail about 5.30. We'd have to leave super early from back, you know, towards Denver. So yeah, we're going to camp tonight. I'm bringing you with me and let's have an adventure guys. All right. Hey, how's it going? We made it about maybe a half mile or so from the trailhead. There's some nice pull-off spots over here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna park here for the night. As you can hear right now, it's raining, so that's a little bit, a little bit of a bummer, but it is what it is. Hopefully, it's gonna pass. When I looked at looked earlier, it was supposed to rain for a few hours, but it wasn't supposed to get here this early. So I'm hoping that maybe this this will pass quickly, and I'm able to cook up some food. We got great views, even though it's a little wet. Mount Sherman is over there, I think, or over here. And yeah, gonna get set up and kind of hang out. All right, what's up guys? The rain is not coming down super heavy anymore, so I was able to open up the back here. I uh, got the back set up, opened up a beer. So, cheers. Let's have a look at the sleeping setup. I got, this is one of those fold up pads that I bought last year um, for camping, but it's not great. I didn't really love it, to be honest. So I got this for backpacking, this blow up one. So I wanted to try this out, I'm um, using it next week. Got my uh, sleep, sleeping bag. It's a cool weather one, right at the 30 degrees. It's only supposed to get down to like, I think 40s or 50s tonight, so not bad. Over here, we got this comforter kind of stacked up on top of this crate that's, you know, providing some cushion. This is, you know, should be pretty good. As you can see, I have some homemade wind uh, blockers here. So these are the homemade window, I guess, shields, blockers that I made, cardboard on the back. And then these, these covers were actually, found, I found them in the garbage. They were bags that were like reflective bags that I cut up, fit to my window size. And yeah, I'm gonna use them tonight as some covers. And they got a normal like sun windshield cover. So I'll show you that later. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna try to make some dinner right now while I got a little break in the weather. I mean, look at these views, come on. Got peaks over there. 14ers around here, man. We're about 12,000 feet. Oh. It's thundering. When I was driving up here, I saw a couple uh, people pulled off and they were tent camping. So that'd be kind of shitty to be tent camping right now in this. It's one of the good things about having a car is you could just close up shop and you don't have to worry about packing up wet gear really. I did, I'm keeping the back open for now. A little wet, but nothing crazy in here. Just enjoying the storm, hanging out. So sky's cleared a bit, it's not raining right now. So we're gonna jump on dinner. We have the Coleman set up. We've got water boiling right now. 
Gonna make some Mexican rice. And then got another pan where I'm gonna warm up these chicken uh, chicken fajitas. And then tortillas. I'm gonna make some like chicken quesadilla type of wraps. Something, you know. Oh, also got salsa on deck. And I have some chips here. Always wrapping great value. Join the mountain. Got the mountain myself. Besides that deer I saw. Honestly, I'm not even sure if I should add this now or later, so I'm just gonna add it now. Guys, look how inflated this bag of cheese is. <laughs> it's nuts, bro. <laughs> Dinner's almost done. Coming along nicely. Warming up the tortillas. Get my chicken. Cool it off over here. Fiesta blend, in case you're wondering. And then this rice turned out pretty bomb. Look at that. Some of that right on there too, why not? Now the hardest part's always folding it, right? I'm not a very good folder, ain't gonna lie. I don't know. For 12,000 feet, I'll take it. Cheers, guys. So I hiked up a little bit after uh, dinner there. Wanted to get moving a bit, so. I came up here on the, the Mount Sherman Trail. The cool thing about Mount Sherman is a 14er, but you're able to drive up to about 12,000 feet because there used to be an old mine up here, as you can see. That old mining road actually turned into, I guess, a hiking road for people. There's a danger sign, of course. No one wants to be liable if you get hurt. Pretty cool. One of the neat things about Colorado, a lot of history here, a lot of gold, a lot of silver, a lot of mines. Pretty neat. I mean, look at these views. My kind of Friday night. Some old mining stuff there. As you can see, here's one of the railways. Oh, look at this. Look at that, that must have been some kind of gear system. Here's this guy. Oh, still turns. Oh, I need some WD-40 though, you know. Wow, look at these tracks. Guys, admit all this, we got an old toilet. Look at this, look at this old school engineering. Whoa. Ugh. Look at that, that's crazy. That's how hot that'd get. Dang, look at this. This old motor. Wow. All right, over here in some of the debris. Found this old can, look at that thing.
crazy. Turned into a really nice night, so really happy about that. Enjoying it. Walking back to the car. All right. Hello, hello. Getting tucked in for the night here. Got all my makeshift uh, window blockers up. I think it's pretty decent overall, honestly. It's blocking out mostly everything. Um, that's like an actual window, like sunshade that I use. Um, and then these ones, yeah, were homemade, but uh, yeah, doing the job. There's only a couple other people parked by me. It's like, you don't really even need them, but it's just kind of nice being in like enclosed, you know? It's about nine o'clock. Never mind, it's about 8.35, um, but getting kind of darker and getting kind of tired, so gonna probably turn in and get ready for the morning. Yeah, thanks for hanging out with me tonight. It's uh, It's been fun, we'll see how the night goes. And then tomorrow we got some hiking to do. I will see you then. What's up, good morning everybody. So, sleeping in the car went pretty well. Um, no major hiccups, just drove up the little bit from where I parked to the trailhead itself. Um, so I'm up here and I'm actually heating up some water right now. About to make a little bit of coffee and get dressed and get ready for to meet up with all the homies. So yeah, definitely excited for the next adventure. Excited for the day.